A series of undercover videos by my next guest exposed what Planned Parenthood is really all about. And let me tell you something, it has nothing to do with women's health. I want you to welcome the president and founder of Live Action and one of America's most influential millennials, pro-life activist, Lila Rose. Lila, it's a delight to see you again and welcome to our show. Uh, I want to get right into this issue of Planned Parenthood. The Republicans promised they would defund Planned Parenthood. Why hasn't mm -hmm. that already been done? I think it's because of total dysfunction in the Republican Party right now and in Congress and a lack of willpower. I think there's a lot of other issues that are bouncing around immigration, taxes, the economy, and they need to make this a priority. I mean, many folks in Congress campaigned on Planned Parenthood, and the president, one of his pledges before taking office was that he would stop the forced taxpayer funding of the biggest abortion chain of Planned Parenthood. For the uninitiated, why does it matter? What is it that Planned Parenthood is doing that, that I should be worried about, that you should be worried about, that the average American taxpayer should care about? The first thing is 900 children a day are killed at Planned Parenthood facilities in this country. 900 little boys and girls who are being killed legally at, at facilities that are propped up with government money. Secondly, this is a scandal-ridden, corrupt, abusive corporation. They are mired in scandal after scandal, alongside this human rights abuse of taking the lives of these innocent children, over 320,000 children a year. Planned Parenthood has been caught sexual, covering up the sexual abuse of young girls, aiding and abetting sex traffickers. We've documented this. They turn a blind eye to sex trafficking and abuse cover-up. Instead, they send little girls after secret abortions back into the arms of their abusers. We've documented case after case after case. They're still doing it, Governor. And then they're also selling baby body parts. And this has been exposed by Center for Medical Progress. I mean, they commit abortions in the late second trimester, children that some are old enough to be, survive outside the womb, and they, they wait to harvest the organs of these children, which is against the law. It's illegal to traffic federally in the body parts of children who are victims of abortion, but that's been documented on tape. They're, they're top ex abortion executives haggling over the prices of the body parts of children killed at Planned Parenthood facilities. And right now, the Department of Justice has an ongoing investigation. And yet we're still funding this abusive corporation with 1.5 million taxpayer dollars every single day. So how many people have been indicted who have been doing these things? Uh, because I've even seen videos, it's not just hearsay, video evidence of people negotiating for the sale of the body parts. So how many have gone to jail? How many indictments? How many are uh, in prison right now? You know the one taking the most heat is the investigative reporter, David Daleiden, and his, his cohort, Sandra Merritt, who are being literally prosecuted criminally in the state of California for their investigative reporting of Planned Parenthood in California by a very pro-abortion attorney general. Xavier Becerra. So, you know, the Department of Justice can get involved here. These are federal crimes that we're talking about. I'm still waiting to see the, the full prosecution happen. I mean, it's an investigation stage. It's been in that stage since President Trump took office. I mean, it wasn't going to happen under Obama, which is when the, the videos were first released. But it hasn't happened yet. There's not a conviction yet. There's not even prosecution yet. And it needs to happen. And this is one among other illegal activities that Planned Parenthood is involved in. They're not only selling body parts of children, but there is a long history documentation of Planned Parenthood's cover-up of sexual abuse, which violates state laws, laws designed to protect young girls, making Planned Parenthood and other groups like them mandated reporters. But instead of reporting abuse like they're required to do, they take abuse victims, give them secret abortions, send them back into the arms of their abusers. So there's multiple criminal ac actions happening here, and there's been a lack of will and, a, and, quite frankly, support from the Obama administration for eight years. So we're looking to see some action from the Department of Justice under an administration that should be more fair and see, see the truth for what's happening at Planned Parenthood. What health care for women does Planned Parenthood provide with our taxpayer dollars? One of the biggest scams in American politics and culture today is this idea that Planned Parenthood represents women's health care. 
The fact is Planned Parenthood's health services, as they claim, so contra handing out ho hormonal contraceptives, STI testing, supposed can cancer screenings, have been declining over the last 10 years, nearly all their services. Some services that they claim to provide, like mammograms and prenatal care, don't even exist. They're lying about them or they're, they're negligible. What Planned Parenthood has been increasing in their services, their services over the last 10 years, is abortion. Their abortion numbers have increased. Their share of the U.S. abortion market has increased. And their other services, many of them are negligible, have decreased. The fact is, they are focused on abortion at all costs, no matter what. That's their cash cow. That's their ideology. And they're, they're masking it in this language of women's health care, it's not even holistic health care, this language of, mil of women's health care in order to win public support. And they've been successful so far, to the tune of over half a billion dollars every single year. It's really shocking. And I think uh, you've done a great job, as has Live Action for several years, of exposing the horrors uh, that have been done at the hands of Planned Parenthood. Lila, thank you very much for being with us. It is a delight to see you again. Great to see you too. Thanks, Governor. We all owe a huge debt to Lila Rose for bravely speaking up to protect unborn children. I want to remind you about the March for Life in Washington, D.C. It's January the 18th, and you can learn more at marchforlife.org. Now, to follow Lila Rose on Twitter and Facebook, look for at Lila Grace Rose and visit Live Action online at liveaction.org. That's liveaction.org.